what am I, what am I talk, what am I talking about? My husband has all the backs of the remote controls electrical taped down so I don't do that to them because I break them because I'm crazy. I have a problem. So I just need to mess with something. and welcome back to my channel this is unapologetic skincare and beauty and I am Stephanie today we are doing this week's installment of the ordinary series if you're new to this channel and you don't know what the ordinary series is let me break it down for you really quick like I'm talking 10 seconds summary the ordinary has a ton of products right and sometimes you watch these YouTube videos and it's like 15, 20 products all at a time and you forget what does what and you, you're confused. But with this series, the Ordinary Series, on my channel, we go over one product in depth each week. That way, you know exactly what that product does and you can refer back and forth between videos if you're confused or you need a refresher. Okay, so this week we're doing Azelaic Acid. As you can see on my nifty little sign, it tells you that we are doing Azelaic Acid. So here's the Ordinary's Azelaic Acid. It comes in a squeeze tube. A lot of their products come in dropper tubes because they're serums and things like that. But this is an Azelaic suspension. And it comes out like this. It's white, really smooth, and it absorbs pretty quickly. Aiden's giving new meaning to the words Christmas in July. He's wearing his Christmas pajamas today. <laughs> the azelaic acid from The Ordinary comes in the suspension form. It's going to run you about $7.90 for 30 milliliters of product or one ounce. It's typical for The Ordinary. Usually you get about 30 mils of product from them. So let's talk about azelaic acid. What is it? What does it do? And is it effective? And if you've never watched my videos, you don't know, but you're gonna know. I have tried all of these ordinary products that I'm reviewing and talking with you about for at least three months or more. That is the only way to get an actual handle on what a skincare product is going to do. It's not typical to see a result with a skincare product in a week or two weeks or even sometimes a month. So you really have to use them for quite a while in order to see not only the benefits, but if there's any interactions with other things that you're putting on your face, and also if you're having any side effects. And if you see me looking down every so often, I'm just referencing my notes. I do have a very good memory, and I am very familiar with these skincare products, but there's no way anybody could remember all of this stuff, and I don't wanna give you guys bad information, so I'm just checking myself. Could you guys drink a little louder? Just a little louder with the drinking. Okay, so azelaic acid is a naturally occurring substance in your skin, and that's why it's really safe to use and there's very few side effects because it does occur naturally already on your skin. I feel like not enough people know about azelaic acid and I feel like more people should be talking about it because it does so much and it's such an amazing product. The three skin conditions that azelaic acid is best known for treating are, <laughs> are is, the three skin conditions that azelaic acid is best known for treating are acne, hyperpigmentation, and rosacea. So when we talk about azelaic acid today, we're going to be talking mainly about its effectiveness at dealing with acne because I know that a lot of people that come to my channel and a lot of people in general that are looking towards skincare and help with skincare are suffering with acne. Acne is my main focus in this video because azelaic acid is one of the main things that's responsible from taking my very broken out hormonal cystic acne that I had when I gave birth to my last daughter and bringing me to a place where I don't feel embarrassed to go outside anymore. It was to that point, I was literally, I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to talk to people. I didn't want people to talk to me. If they did talk to me, I would avoid looking at them in the eye so they wouldn't look at my face. And that is no way to live. And it may seem like, oh my God, first world problems. Like you don't want to talk to people because you have acne or you have pimples. But when you're in the middle of that, it is very real and it is very traumatic. So 
Azelaic acid helped me so much get my acne to a place where it was controllable that I can't say enough good things about it. So that's really where I want to keep my focus because that's my main expertise as far as what azelaic acid can do. I don't have rosacea and I don't suffer with hyperpigmentation so I can't really speak too much about the efficacy of azelaic acid with those two conditions. How does azelaic acid help treat and keep acne at bay? So let's talk about the three A's. We have antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and anti-keratinizing. Keratinizing. What do those three big words mean? Well, antibacterial, as you know, means to get rid of bacteria, and anti-inflammatory, as I'm sure you also know, is going to be helping to reduce redness and any swelling, because that's inflammation, and we see that with pimples, especially cystic ones. You see red and swollen lumps on your skin that you would like to get rid of. Anti-keratinizing might be one you're not so familiar with, and basically it means that it's going to slow down the division of your cells or the you know production of your cells. So your skin makes skin cells at a rate, but if it makes too many skin cells too quickly, those are gonna build up in your pores and cause blockages and cause clogged pores, which then causes Acne, right, exactly. So we want all those things, right? We want antibacterial because if you put azelaic acid on your face, any extra bacteria you have sitting on your skin, the azelaic acid is going to take care of that. So the less bacteria you have sitting on your skin, the less it's likely to get into your skin and cause acne and breakouts and issues. And anti-inflammatory, obviously, we would want that too when we're dealing with acne because pimples can sometimes be red and angry and large. So azelaic acid does you know, lessen the redness and the swelling of active breakouts. And anti-keratinizing, well obviously we don't want our skin to be producing cells and skin cells at a rate that's going to cause buildup and blockages in our pores. You know, azelaic acid also helps with that. So you're coming at it with a three-pronged trident of Acne fighting fury. I'm so sorry. I don't know where that came from, but we're gonna go with it. I just envisioned like this this trident like coming at somebody's face to, to fight their acne. It's a three-pronged attack on the stuff that's in or on your skin that's gonna cause acne. So there was a study done of a couple different common acne treatments, ones that we've all used for years, ones that we've been prescribed by doctors, ones that have been our go-to and our holy grail products for fighting acne for years and years and years. And then they also studied the effect of azelaic acid stacked up to these different treatments. So they studied benzoyl peroxide, they studied tretinoin, which is Retin-A, and they studied oral antibiotics as well as the azelaic acid. So the study was done with 580 people over the course of four months. There's also a placebo in this study. And the placebo group just basically means that these participants, they don't get anything active. It's just a sugar pill usually or something that's not going to actually do anything. But they don't know that, right? They can't know that because it has to basically be a blind study, which means you don't know what group you're in and you don't know what you're getting. Only the people who are running the study know which group gets what and which group is, is who. <laughs> little Psych 101 for you there. So in this study, azelaic acid compared almost identically to benzoyl peroxide as well as the Retin-A and the oral antibiotics. The placebo group, which didn't get anything, they noticed that the azelaic acid did much better than the placebo group. And it may sound silly to you, like, oh, azelaic acid worked better than nothing, but it does show you that it does something, right? So it's definitely doing something if it does better than nothing. <laughs> if that makes sense. So basically, azelaic acid holds its own against benzoyl peroxide, which has been so many people's go-to acne fighting product for years and years and years. I'm allergic to it. It gives me really bad, really bad allergic reactions. So I've always been kind of pissed off that I couldn't use it because everybody always said that that's how they got through tough breakouts. But benzoyl peroxide does cause a lot of agitation. It has bad side effects. It's drying, it's irritating. You don't have pimples anymore, but now your skin's a dried out, red flaky mess. Uh, what's bad 
better. So azelaic acid does as well as benzoyl peroxide without the horrible side effects. Now some people do they do claim to have some side effects with the azelaic acid. They can experience mild itching, they can experience some mild redness or agitation, but overall way more people experience that with benzoyl peroxide than they do with azelaic acid. It's just people that have super sensitive skin that do have a little bit of a reaction to the azelaic acid, but nothing crazy. Whereas I feel like almost everybody that uses benzoyl peroxide does have some sort of redness or itching or peeling. Why are we not talking more about azelaic acid when it does as good of a job at taking care of stubborn acne as benzoyl peroxide does? Right? It's completely safe to use. It is so safe to use because it's naturally occurring in our skin already that you can use it when you're pregnant and breastfeeding. You definitely cannot use benzoyl peroxide when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. I'll go with the azelaic acid, right? I mean, just as effective, but no side effect. So azelaic acid is non-toxic, safe to use in pregnancy, won't interact with the sun. You know, there's a lot of acne treatments such as retinol. And I do think benzoyl peroxide where, you know, you don't want to put it on in the morning because they make your skin more sensitive to the sun. So you have to really avoid sun exposure when you're using them. There's all these sorts of interactions. You can't use this with that. And you can't use benzoyl peroxide when you use retinols and all sorts of stuff. But with azelaic acid, there's no interactions with other products. You can go out in the sun. In fact, here's the fun part, azelaic acid has this property in it, the anti-inflammatory property, where it actually reduces inflammation from UV rays. So when you get a sunburn and your skin turns red, your skin's inflamed, it's angry, it's like, why did you do this to me? And azelaic acid will calm the inflammation caused by UV exposure. So even if you have like some sun exposure on your face or your nose, you know, we always get burnt on our nose, throw some azelaic acid on there and you're gonna see that it helps it. So the way you use azelaic acid, you can apply it twice daily. You can apply it three, four times daily, really if you want to, because it is that gentle. So I do put it on in the morning and I put it on at night. With this guy, you will find a little tiny bit of pilling if you put it on directly after something or directly before something. I always do it in this order. Wash my face, I exfoliate my face, and then I go in with my toner. And then after I tone, that is when I put this guy on because there's nothing really on my skin for it to pill on top of. And then I give that about four or five minutes to sink in. I'll brush my teeth or, you know, walk around the bathroom or watch a YouTube video. And then I'll go in with my moisturizer and then I go in with my facial oils. Other than that, I have no issues. This is an affordable version of azelaic acid. It's very gentle. It's very beautiful. The Ordinary does such a good job with their skincare products. I'm so impressed with it. And I will continue to use this. It's almost out, but I ordered another one, so we're good. Okay, I hope you liked this video on azelaic acid today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. Let me know what you think, and let me know what you want next week's episode of The Ordinary Series to be on. I don't know, I was thinking we would switch it up again and go maybe with the 7% glycolic toner solution. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe so you know when I post, YouTube will tell you, hopefully, especially if you hit that little bell icon. I do post three times a week, sometimes more, but you really wanna subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you know and you don't just have to guess. I'm gonna go now and wash my face and put some of this stuff on. Stay kind and stay beautiful. Mwah. All my friends are here, let's take it Rosie needs a haircut so bad now, right? Wait oh my God. Look at her, she's so furry. You You're just you furry. Know. Can you even see? Your hair is so Please long. Don't don't look at me like that. Can't get a haircut. What do you want from me? Welcome to the room of people who have room so people that they love